The death of George Floyd is bringing back painful memories for family in Durham region. Three and a half years after the death of Suleiman Fakari, his family is still without answers. The mentally ill Whitby man died behind bars, a witness telling CBC guards beat him in a cell and one guard kneeled on his neck. As Philip Lushanik tells us, his family says there needs to be accountability for what happened. Seeing video of the last few minutes of George Floyd's life was just too much for the brother of Suleiman Fakari. Those are the last few minutes of my brother's life too, and so I was in tears and I couldn't take the, 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 the trauma. Fakiri died in December 2016 at a correctional center in Lindsay. It happened just after guards entered his jail cell. He was pepper sprayed, shackled by the arms and legs. He suffered dozens of injuries caused by blunt force trauma. Although his body was badly bruised, initially a coroner found Fakiri's cause of death as unascertained. Then a witness came forward to the CBC's fifth estate, someone who had been in a nearby cell that day. They beat him to death. Like, I don't, I don't know how else to describe it. And he saw at least one guard while Suleiman was on the ground, shackled. Saw that guard place their knee on Suleiman's neck while he was face down on the ground struggling to breathe. And then he saw Suleiman stop breathing. The Ontario Provincial Police reopened the case, but it's been three and a half years and still no answers. The family says without knowing who is responsible, Incidents like this will keep happening. This is not like a unique situation. Just like my brother's case is not a unique situation. Individuals that have had mental illness have been killed, you know, by, by guards and certain law enforcement, yet the, 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 the pursuit of accountability seems to be elusive. But unlike George Floyd's death, there was no video of Suleiman Fakari's last minutes or widespread protests or calls for accountability, justice and change. Calls which a family says should be echoed here. Why are the individuals that were, that were responsible for my brother's death are not held accountable? And there's many stories like Suleiman's. The OPP says the investigation remains ongoing and there's no further information available to release at this time. The family has filed a $14 million lawsuit. Philip Lee Shannock, CBC News, Toronto.